This is Red Feather from Grup Hacks. In this video, we will be showing you how to set up a Bitcoin wallet. Although I will be using a Linux Ubuntu to set up this wallet, the procedure on other operating systems is the same for the setup of the Bitcoin wallet. So just what is Bitcoin wallet? Well, the most obvious is it is a place to store your Bitcoin cryptocurrency. But it is much, much more than that. A Bitcoin wallet is also where you send and receive your Bitcoin. Each wallet is assigned a unique mailing address. One of the main features is security. The Bitcoin wallet uses a private key encryption in the process of setting up the Bitcoin wallet, they give you a choice to encrypt or not. Also, one of the most important parts of the Bitcoin wallet is the wallet recovery method. The recovery method is a statement of random sentence words. It is called a seed. Given these random words or a seeds, seed if you will, and your password that is used to encrypt should be old schooled and written on a piece of paper and stored in a safe place like a safe or maybe a safe deposit box. There are more things to know about Bitcoin wallet security but the main focus of this video is how to set up the wallet. Although there are a few other things to consider before we begin with the setup. We must consider system requirements. The reason this is important, although you could just download a wallet and start using it, if the system requirements do not match up, you could get crashes and compromise any security settings. I'm using an older system at this time of making this video. Take note of my available disk space, 99.6 gigabytes. So let us take a look at some of the system requirements for the Bitcoin wallet. Looking at this graph from the Wiki Bitcoin client page, you will notice system requirements for each wallet along with other useful information. Note the wallet we will be installing today is the Electrum. This is considered a lightweight wallet, the system requirements only being five megabytes. Also at Bitcoin.org, there is a Bitcoin warning page concerning the wallet, to which is to, to which also shows system requirements as well as other requirements to be aware of. The only reason I bring this to your attention is for educational purposes. If your system can handle the requirements, I feel it best to go with the original Bitcoin wallet for two purposes. One being extra security and two, supporting the network and its independence. If you are using Linux, you can download the Bitcoin wallet from the software center or install it through the command line. But keep in mind, the detail section where it states 107.1 megabytes, this is just the size to download, but not to operate the software. There are also a lot of other places you can download a Bitcoin wallet from, such as Bitcoin.com 
or from the Wiki Bitcoin client page I showed you earlier in this video. Any Ubuntu software center, type Electrum. Once there, click Install. In the installation, will begin for your Bitcoin wallet. Once the installation is complete, you must restart your system. And then, once your system is back up, Click on the Electrum Wallet symbol. A configuration window will appear asking what you would like to do for the purpose of this video. I will just click Next. The next page is where they give you your seed message. This is the message I talked about earlier that should be written down and kept in a safe place. If you lose this or forget it and you are compromised somehow, you lose all of any Bitcoin holdings and transactions. Once this is done, click Next. Next, you will be asked to type it the seed message given in the last window. This also gives you a practice run of the recovery process. Once this is done, click Next. Next, you will be asked to place a password if you would like to encrypt your keys. I highly suggest you use this feature. Although, remember, to write this down and save it with your seed message for your Bitcoin wallet. Once this is done, click Next. The next window will ask how you would like to connect to the server. For the purpose of this Bitcoin wallet video, I would just use Auto Connect. After you decide, click Next. Now your Bitcoin wallet should be up and running. A good indication of this is the green network globe circle in the lower right corner. Also, in looking through other settings, you should receive your address and a welcome note from the network. I hope you have enjoyed this video and found it useful. We hope you join us in our next video called how to join a Bitcoin mining pool. If you found this video useful and helpful, why not give this video a like? And while you're at it, why not become a subscriber? Please feel free to leave a comment. And by all means, if you would like to read some interesting articles, come on by our website at httpgrepax.com. The intro an extra of this video has been provided by Alex Abayu One from his YouTube channel. Thank you in advance. I am out.